On this Broken Gear short, we bring home yet another unnecessary project car that no one wants or no one cares about, besides us. And more specifically me, because this is my favorite Mustang. But, enjoy! I'm on my way down to Carson's. Uh, I was told that we were picking up a car today. Uh, no idea what it is, he wouldn't tell me. So, uh, my expectations are low, to say the least. So you're gonna tell me what we're going to get? I'll give you a hint, it's a Mustang. Ooh! Ooh! And it was a fantastic price. I mean, I'm not against Mustangs. I love the 64 and a half to like 73 years. Those are awesome. Most people don't like the 71 to 73. They're a little, they're a little too big for them. You know, and they, they look like a Javelin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like javelins. I do too. But I was thinking, um, man, uh, my favorite Gone in 60 Seconds is the original one. I've, I've, I've not seen any of those. The um, first one's got a yellow, like, 71 to 73 Mustang with the black accent stripes. I think it's kind of a hodgepodge of different years gotcha. stuff, but we, we could recreate some of the scenes. That'd be fun. That's you, then that's with, so what year do you think we're getting? Let's, like, what's your ballpark guess here? It's got to be 64 and a half to 73. Um, the first ones are probably cheaper, so 65. 65. Have to wait and see when we get there then. It's not that far of a drive, luckily. You can thank Gentry for finding it. Oh, well, that's scary. I'm surprised it has two doors. Yeah, that's fair. You're going to want to hop up there and kind of, you can probably see a little bit better than I can. Yeah, we're good. Nice and straight and you can see. That's straight enough. All right. see this beautiful Mustang here in a moment. I'm excited. I've got a lot of ideas for a cool Mustang. I'm glad. Because I do too. I'm thinking like a decent little 302 and like a 4 or 5 speed. Oh, no engine or trans. No, and, uh, we do get those. We, we do get those, but the V6 exploded. Oh, so you want to take a left here? V6. Yeah, yeah. See that barn right there with all the cars in front of it? That's where we're going. And if you, you're going to love it. It's a fucking Pinto. I don't know what you're talking about. That, that is a butte right there. You're kidding. What is that, like a 66, uh, 76? Yeah, 76, 77, somewhere in that area. Can I keep driving? No. You bought a Pinto with a... Mustang grill on it? Mustang grill on it. Yeah. Best Mustang ever made. I'm one of the few that stands by that belief. Special, all right. I am. You know me. Oh, it has T-tops. Yes, exactly. Okay. It has one of the key features I look for on these things. Yeah, but it's still a... And it was cheap, and I love it. I'm disappointed. I don't see how you could be. It's got some cool history with it, though. Let's talk to the dude.
have this nice pinto up on the uh, trailer there. But uh, the engine and transmission and all that's in pieces over yonder by the barn. We still have to try to grab. Kevin has too many transmissions already in the back of his truck. So what we're going to do is make use of the beautiful hatchback feature. And we're just going to stuff this until it's just squatting to the ground. It's going to be great. And it has T-tops. So what do you think? The T-tops is what got you on it, right? And that's what sold you on it? The T-tops is... That's the only reason to own this car. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's the T-tops. That and the fact that, you know, it's the best Mustang ever made, but whatever. How do you even call that a Mustang? It's not even a Mustang. What do you mean? Look at it. Okay. It's beautiful. It's got a horse on the grill. What's a fox body? Just an underrated Thunderbird. At least the fox body was on a good platform. Lightweight, high horsepower. Unless you got the four banger. We can make that happen with this. Lightweight, high horsepower. Put all the weight in the rear. Make it do wheelies. Oh yeah, so just like a Pinto, get rear-ended and blow up. Do a wheelie and blow up. Go out in a blaze of glory. Now, now hold on. Let, let me just think of how I want to word this. When you die in a fire blaze in a car, do you really want it to be in that? Could be worse. Could be a Yugo. So, I decided to buy one of the best Mustangs ever made, a Mustang II. This is approximately a 77. The guy I got it from is still working on finding the title, which is fine. It was, it was cheap. It's fine. But, as you can see, it's a beautiful pastel blue, or was. Uh, for some reason, the gas cap's red. Reminds me of all the Mopar. The interior reeks of rats absolutely god awful it's gonna get odor bombed hard uh it's been parked since i think 94 just sitting in a dude's barn underneath a uh, underneath a tarp fairly rust free for the most part at least it's not all eaten up the unibody's solid um the drivetrain's out of it and there's a reason for that so this is the beautiful six cylinder that was in it. And if you look here, that's bent and that cylinder wall's blown out. So this bad boy made so much horsepower, it blew itself up is what we're gonna tell myself. A uh, tiny transmission. It's a hatchback, which is the preferred with T-tops. We're gonna put a manual in this though, since it was an automatic. Got her loaded down with all the junk old drivetrain parts that just gonna sell because I'm not gonna reuse any of them. That doesn't latch. But one of my favorite parts is the beautiful look of that grill. Just look at it. How do you not like that? I don't get it. This is the beautiful. Pinto Mustang 2, and uh, you can look forward to seeing her on a future episode of the uh, Broken Gear. Bought a Pinto.